video, I just paid a contractor, I'm a homeowner, and paid him to install my B vent. And I was a little worried because he had it touching the wood, like literally touching it. And I'm pretty handy myself. So I'm making this video to save your butt from um, a fire or whatever the heck this contractor was gonna do to me, which I fired and did some research on Angie's List and he's got a lot of bad reviews. Anyways, the reason I'm making this video is so you don't have the same mistake that I had and watch over your contractor. But this is B vent and it's dual layered. I'll show you when we get upstairs. And what I was doing was having a <coughs> remodel done on my home and uh, the B vent had to be moved from this area right here. You can see the hole in the floor with the two two by fours to this area. And I'll show you why when we get up there. But the number one thing you guys need to know is that these lock together. They make, I was at Menards and they make a, uh, what is it? A four inch, a five inch and a six inch pipe. And right here it's coming out as a four inch and going down and it increases into a six inch. And also this is your water heater. If you guys don't know what this is and you're just landing on this carbon monoxide that <coughs> our homes, this is the water heater, carbon monoxide goes right through and goes through, especially through the furnace. You probably get 20 times more than what's coming out of this thing, which is hardly any, um, but coming out of your furnace, especially in the winter time, you're gonna have a lot. So you need to make sure this is done correctly. Also make sure it's at least one inch away from any wood or anything that it's gonna get really hot. So when it gets hot, if it's touching the wood, it can cause a fire. Um, I was told by a professional who does this for a living, he said if it's touching any wood, um, you won't have a fire right away, but it will happen and you'll burn your house down. So he had it touching the wood and I had to lift it up. You can see these straps that I put on here lifting it up. I had to put a, another elbow right here to make it happen. Um, these, these elbows that they make, um, which come in a, you can make it a 45, you can make it a 30, you can make it a 20, just by twisting it, see how they twist almost like a snake. You could do whatever you want with them. So the, you can make it happen and they all lock into each other. And you got this uh, ring right here. That What that ring is, when it's pushed back, um, there's four little clips and when they lock into each other, the four clips get pushed down and the ring slides over. That's all you gotta do. I just went ahead and added um, tape on it. I don't think you have to do it, just because it's, it's more protection and that's the only reason I added that, but everything was locked in good, but I had to lift it up about three inches, and that's what's going on upstairs. So we're here upstairs, and you got the B vent coming out of the ground. Um, if you're doing this yourself, um, just make sure it's not touching anything. See this little metal flashing ring with the little ridges on it? I'll try to, just, let me go closer to this. Um, what that thing is doing is keeping it away from the wood and centering it. You can see that now better. It's got these little like flaps everywhere and the wood is probably cut back to about an inch. So as long as you're an inch away, you're good. I went ahead because I had electrical wires back here and it was so close. I cut this out to make sure that it's away. So everything's going to be at least an inch away. That's backer board that I got back there. It's uh, I think it's three quarters of an inch backer board. Let me go over here and show you. Just regular backer board made for town but it's fire retardant. So, and if there's any professionals who do this for a living, who see this video, um, please add anything that might not be right or is right, um, and other precautions people can take in the comments that would be really helpful for all the do-it-yourselfers. So, I'm just gonna feed this up, and everything is not touching. He had it touching the backside of that post also, and I asked him why he had it touching. He said it's not gonna cause an issue. But when I did my research and called other heating um, places, they said it would. So also he had my electrical wire, pretty much uh, some of them would have been touching the metal, which could have definitely caused a fire after it got hot and melted. So those got pushed back in there and I also put a barrier, some type of barrier. So the heat gets dispersed up in here and goes into the flooring. And if it's that hot, you know, it'll heat the floor a little, I guess. So um, that's about it. So you can see how they lock into each other. There's a, the metal ring that goes around here, that's gonna slide over. These are the tabs I was talking about earlier. It's double layered, this stuff is very expensive. This piece right here alone is probably like a $50, $60 piece. Um, and then he bent all this, so I'm gonna have to straighten that back out. But you can see how the tabs go in and the thing goes over, and that's how they lock into there. So, pretty simple. And I don't know what kind of rig job he had going over here, where he had them connected. He had it backwards. 
uh, I don't think this guy's ever done this for a living, but there's the sleeve I was talking about. So you actually lock this piece in that way, not this way and that way. I don't know what the heck he had going on, so I'm gonna have to fix all this. And I'm pretty handy myself, so I know how things work. This guy was just an idiot. I sent him packing, fired him, didn't pay him a penny. He's all pissed off, told him he's gonna sue me, but whatever, I'll sue you. <laughs> so anyways, this is what we got going on. Any professionals, leave some comments, help, help the do-it-yourselfers. Um, I think everything will be good. I was told by the guy who does it for a living, he's like, as long as you're an inch away, I'll be good. You won't have any worries. So I feel, I feel confident, I feel good about it. So thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully you learned something here and go install your B-Vent.